This is Moon City. Moon City is about to get blown up because we're playing City Smash and that's what you do. Sorry, Moon City. Hello everybody, I am Kyla Keaton and welcome back to City Smash. It's like the little brother of Solar Smash. But the game got updated and they added some really cool stuff like this, Moon City. That's pretty cool, man. But they also added some new events and disasters that we're definitely going to have to play around with. Um, it's gonna be a good time. I see a cool looking worm icon at the end of that page and I like it, but let's save that. First things first, let's send Godzilla into Moon City. <laughs> I love the idea of you know, humans finally colonizing the moon and then just some crazy Godzilla type creature that walks in there and just lasers it in half. Our poor moon city. It was, it was so glorious and wonderful. Godzilla had to ruin all our fun. He's such a party pooper. Or like when you're hanging out in your cool moon house and then suddenly a volcano shows up on the moon. And you're like, I didn't know there was volcanoes on the moon. And everybody else is like, we didn't know there was volcanoes on the moon either. Until right now in this moment when we're being covered in volcanic lava balls of death. Cool. Awesome. It's, <laughs> wait, is that just one g giant lava orb? What, what happened? What happened to all the other ones? Did they just fly off into space because there's very little gravity on the moon? <laughs> I think that's what happened. Now, I did notice that many of these icons now have like a little gear next to them. Oh my goodness. You can customize the events. So like we can set the force of a tsunami on the moon, which is a really weird thing because typically you need oceans to have tsunamis. Let's not think about it too hard. Let's see what a level 10 tsunami looks like when it goes to the moon. <laughs> this is like a, a water slug just destroyed our beautiful moon city. All right, well, let's bring our glorious moon city back to life. And um, I, I want to play around with this this force. Like, how high can you go? Oh my good. Oh my goodness. What? How high does this number go? Four hundred? Hold up. We just did ten, right? This seems unfathomable. We we. Oh my gosh. What are we doing? I mean. You know, I was expecting something maybe a little bit more dramatic. I thought that by changing the force, it would change the size of the wave. Apparently it doesn't. It just it just changes the damage that it does. I don't know. I'm a little disappointed. I thought the difference between a 10 force tsunami and a 400 force tsunami would be a little bit more dramatic. It wasn't. Although I will say we are on the moon. Let's see what happens to a city when we send a force 400 tsunami through the city. It's just, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that city's definitely had better days, we'll say. Let's go back to Moon City. Ah, we're back at Moon City, my, my true home. This is insane. So like we have black holes here. Oh my goodness. You can adjust the radius and the force. Now what happens if you just launch a zero, zero black hole? At, at Moon City. Nothing. It's just like a, a slight breeze for people hanging out there. Oh, was that a black hole? <laughs> I barely even felt it. However, if we adjust these settings here, I imagine it'll be a little bit more destructive. Maybe? Possibly? Just, just, just a little bit. Oh, was that a black hole? I barely felt it. Oh, I'm being crushed by rubble. That was one of the moon citizens that laughed at the previous black hole. Never laugh at black holes. That's a good valuable lesson. All right, well, um, let's see how high this number goes. I like taking numbers real high. Okay, so the force, can we get that up to 400? Can we make this happen? Yes, oh, we can go beyond 400, sure. 500, 
500 force. Okay, we need to bring back Moon City. Welcome back. Um, I'm sorry to do this to you, Moon City. Oh, my. We've turned Moon City into an orb. We've literally turned Moon City into its own little planet. <laughs> With the power of that black hole. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we've got to do that to a different city. Let's go to normal city. Turn this city into its own little metal planet. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. And so very destructive. <laughs> I love it. Holy moly. Um, okay, well, that's what happens when you, uh, when you launch a, a black hole of that magnitude into the middle of a city. Now we know. It's really lagging my game. Is having a hard time with this one. You okay there? Tablet? You are good? You are good? We got through it. We got through it. That was incredible. Okay, so we have the missile strike. I imagine, yeah, you can... Oh, interesting. You can change the blast radius and the explosion force, but you can't change the amount of missiles? It's kind of interesting. It, it, does it always only shoot one missile? Is that how this works in City Smash? Where's my missile at? No missiles? What? Hello? Missiles? I'm not getting... Oh. Oh. Wait. What? How... I don't quite understand how these missile launches work. You see these arrows? I can... I can kind of like guide them, but nothing's happening. Maybe we have to be on the moon. When all else fails, go to the moon. Nope, that didn't work either. I must be doing something wrong here, right? How about that? Oh! No! Oh! That worked. That worked. Sorry, Moon City. Sorry. Just learning how to use these things. Oh, I did it again. My bad. Okay, so we had to set the explosion force to 200, which is interesting. How high do these go? Oh, the blast radius. Oh, it, okay. It goes to 100. The explosion force goes to 500? 500? No, beyond 500. Oh, my. Beyond 600. I'm scared. Can we take this all the way to 1,000? Oh, yes. Yes, we can. That's the max. I don't even know what that's changing, but let's let's blow up future Night City with it. It did nothing. What? Hello? Oh! Oh! That was a little surprising. <laughs> I don't know why it did nothing the first time I did that, but that was terrifying. I thought it was broken. It was not broken. I was broken. That was insane. It just vaporized the whole city. I'm so sorry, future city. So that must be the explosion force that's having such a huge effect on that. Although I do kind of want to see what happens when you max the blast radius, but not the explosion force. Let's just, let's see. Let's experiment here. Wait, it's not... Fire! Hello? Why does it work sometimes and it doesn't work other times? I'm very confused. Go! Missile! I don't know what's going on with this one. Seems a little wonky. Oh well, let's move on to nukes, shall we? So this is the default. Let's, let's experience it together. I mean, it's gonna be a nuke. It's, it's, it's gonna blow up the city. It did. It did. But, of course, uh, we gotta take it further. Let, let's see how destructive we can truly get. It almost makes you wish that the cities were a little bit bigger, right? We're taking explosion force up to a thousand again, I think. Yep. Max level right there. Okay, let's go over to this city and drop a max level nuke on it. Gosh, this is just gonna be ridiculous. Yeah. Look at that bus! The hero! Oh, and there's... Oh. Sorry, bus. There's another bus! The truest of heroes! Never, never mind. All right, we've spent, I think, enough time with things that we've already messed around with. We, we've had these in the previous update. However, I do believe that these three are new. What's this, some kind of bomber or something? I don't know, let's, let's find out. What are you gonna do? Can we do that like multiple times? Can we have more than one? <laughs> oh no, oh my gosh! 
What are they even shooting at anymore? They don't even know. Maybe they're shooting at Godzilla. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Not too shabby. Next up is some kind of portal. I don't even know. Let's see what happens. Ah! Uh... Oh! Okay! It's like a black hole, but it explodes. As if black holes weren't bad enough already. You add an explosion to a black hole, it's just a whole nother mess. And we can adjust the destructiveness of this one. So you can change the force, the suction force, and the explosion force. Fantastic. There you go. All right, let's let's see what happens to future Night City. Here we go. <laughs> it didn't stand a chance. There was no hope. Like I said, a black hole is already bad enough. But then when it blows up, that's just pouring salt in the wound. Brutal. But of course, last, but certainly not least, we got some kind of worm creature. Oh my goodness. Is this the planet eating worm from Solar Smash? I sure hope so. <laughs> I sure hope so. Here we go. Summon the beast. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, it is truly glorious. There you go. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. I love the planet eating worms in Solar Smash. But being able to see them at this scale, like destroying a city, is just so cool. Now, okay, I that's that was my next question, of course. Can you do more than one at a time? You can do two, right? Like almost three. You can see the the gauge, it like recharges just as the third one is leaving. So you can get two giant planet eating space worms in, in one city. And it is truly beautiful. Let's go to the moon. This is where it makes the most sense, right? Like, it's a it's a moon worm. We call it the moon worm. Or just Steve. Hey, Steve. Thanks for eating my moon house, you big bully. <laughs> that thing is so cool looking and also terrifying. Not nearly as destructive as some of the other things that we've messed around with, but very cool to watch. He hungry. He eat. And cities are some of his favorite things to eat. How about the bridge? We haven't even really messed with the bridge. Space worm, go! Through the water, that looks so cool. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Ah! Uh, what a cool update. I'm so glad that they updated the game. Good job, Steve. Keep up the good work.